Hello, good evening, guys. Sorry for the lateness. All right, so two minutes late. However, thank you so much for being on time. Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Very good. Excellent. Yes, good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Good evening, guys. Uh, let me share this information. Good evening, guys. All right, give me one second. Let me share this information right now. Just a moment. Just a moment, please. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment, guys. All right, first to the first, guys, we're going to double check our motivation part and let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking at this moment. Give me one second. I have a technical problems, but everything is under control. Let's see. All right, guys, uh, I just want to make sure that you guys are completing or if you guys already complete your uh, steps in order to get your next space. I'm talking about your model, your English models. Solo quiero saber si ya completaron lo que estaban, no discutiendo ahora, ¿verdad? Porque están preguntándole a, a los coordinadores que si ya, ya estaban completos los, los, los pasos que ellos les estaban requiriendo. Solo es algo, se los hago saber nuevamente para que no se le vaya a olvidar. Si no lo ha completado, pues que lo complete, ¿ok? So, now, let's see. Let's re, uh, let's repeat, guys. I understand that tonight it's basically nine o'clock, and I want you to you just repeat motivation. We need to be motivated all the time. Remember, all the time we need to be motivated. Okay, motivation, guys. Come on, let's go. Smile. Lo veo bien serio. A todos están bien serios. Smile. Motivation. Let's repeat. Come on, guys. Motivation. Practice. Motivation. Excellent. Excellent. Motivation. Very good, very good, very good. Motivation. We need to be motivated, right? So let me tell you guys your quote that we are going to read tonight is this one. And it says like this. Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. Están viendo lo que les estoy leyendo. Yes, yes? teacher. Yes. Excellent. Your future is created by what you do Today, not tomorrow. What does that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? ¿Por qué nos estamos motivando todos los días? Because every single day, you need to have a different mindset. Tienen que tener otra mentalidad. O sea, todos los días. In this case, why? We need to be motivated. Because without motivation, you won't be able to learn how to speak English. All right? So, si usted se fija, hay, hay, hay momentos en que usted dice, es que ni para atrás ni para adelante. A mí no me, no, no, no me, no me entra, no, no, no sé. Pero es, a veces, ¿qué quieres, sabe qué quiere decir? Es que estamos desmotivados. A veces uno mismo tiene que motivarse. Y dice así, tu futuro ha sido creado para hacerlo ahora, para hacerlo hoy, no mañana. All right? So, lo felicito a usted porque usted está ahorita haciendo un sacrificio. Está levantadito, levantadito desde las 4 de las 5 de la mañana y todavía tiene que esperarse hasta ahora con nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, one more time, your future is created by, let's repeat, your future is created by, come on, let's go. Your future, your future, future is created by, by what, what you do you... today, not tomorrow. Excellent. You do today, not tomorrow. All right, one more time, your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Your future Not tomorrow. All right. So excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. So tonight we won't um, double check any town twister. Okay. Vamos a, a verificar otra información que tenemos acá. Tenemos un par de temas que no los hemos eh, explicado. Que son los siguientes, ¿verdad? Permítame. Vamos. Pueden ver lo que estoy viendo, ¿sí? La plataforma, yes. 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 All right, guys. So tonight we are going to double check simple pass, yes, no questions. Y usted podrá decir, y seguimos con el simple pass, pero es parte del 
programa que está, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que eh, comprender, ¿verdad? Lo que, lo que es el tema en sí, ¿verdad? Prácticamente hay muchos detalles que hay que perfeccionarlos o pulirlos en este caso, All right, So, we are going to double check a uh, the structure. Quiero que me ponga atención cómo usted va a contestar con los auxiliares did. En este caso, did, pero también le voy a agregar yo en, eh, en este momento el do. ¿Ok? El did, remember, es cuando yo quiero saber algo que usted hizo o no hizo hace unas cuantas horas, ayer o hace mucho tiempo atrás, ¿verdad? Como, como, como amigo que somos, yo quiero preguntarle, ¿verdad? Le quiero hacer, hey, did you practice English? Did you practice English this weekend, uh, Letvia? Did you practice English this weekend? Yes, teacher. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did, teacher. Per Excellent. Very good. Elmer. Yes. Did you, did yes. you uh, let's see, did you play basketball this weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, so. Yo pongamos atención acá y ya vamos a explicar este video nuevamente, ¿ok? One second. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. All right, guys. So just let me explain this uh, this part real quick. Probably you understood what what he just mentioned, right? Creo que entendió lo que acaba de mencionar el maestro. Pero igual se lo quiero decir así como me hubiera querido que me lo enseñaran a mí, verdad? Paso a paso. Aquí acaba de decir él de que el did. Acuérdese que es el auxiliar. Esta es la fórmula, verdad? Tal vez se mira fácil, pero hay que entenderlo de una mejor manera. Ok, so la fórmula es did, el subject ya sabemos que es el, el, el personal pronoun, right? Que puede ser you, he, they, we, right? So all the personal pronouns. Y el verbo en presente, que no va a cambiar, más el complemento. Entonces aquí él está de, acaba de, de desglosar la primera pregunta, donde dice, did you have... A good summer. El verbo no cambió. Se quedó en presente. ¿Verdad? Porque aquí estamos preguntando con el auxiliar. 
Did you, por ejemplo, si yo les digo, did you eat eggs and beans tonight? A quien sea, ¿verdad? A quien sea. Pero si usted se fija, el verbo no cambia. Did you eat? Entonces, le pregunto a, a, a cualquiera de ustedes, ¿verdad? Le pregunto, did you eat eggs and beans tonight? Si usted se fija, el verbo no cambió. Did you eat? Está simple present. Eggs and beans tonight. Vienen y me contesta uno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Me dice, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Y ahí me da el complemento si usted quiere, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. I ate. Aquí sí cambiaría, mire. Pues aquí sí cambia el verbo. Cuando usted ya contesta la pregunta, cuando usted dice, yes, I did. Dependiendo de la pregunta que yo le haya hecho, si le dije yo, did you play basketball? Did you eat? Did you... Uh, what else? Uh, help me. Ayúdenme. Quiero ver. Did you eat? Did you play? Did you sing? Uh, do you run? Did, uh, did, did you run? Did you sleep? Did you sleep? Acuérdese que en ese momento, cuando usted me conteste, ahí sí va a cambiar el verbo a pasado. ¿Verdad? Entonces, yo, usted me dice, yes, I did. I went... Por si le dije, si fue a la playa, usted me dice, I, uh, yes, I went to the beach. I played guitar. I sang a song. Uh, I slept all night long. Entonces, va a ser pasado cuando usted me conteste. ¿Sí me explico? Por eso estamos verificando el, el simple pass, el yes, no question. Did, all right? Que es el auxiliar en este caso. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we'll add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject. Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. All right, the same thing over here, guys. Uh, the second example, the, this uh, teacher is explaining. If, as you can see, he's, he's, he's explaining that the verb, it will change after you answer, lo que les acabo de repetir, el verbo cambió, si usted se, se fija, dice acá, did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? Viene y le dice aquí el otro muchacho, ¿verdad? No, they didn't. Y aquí, le, aquí así ya cambia el verbo, ¿verdad? Porque ya, ya se dice que ellas fueron. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Ok, acuérdese de eso. Siempre va a cambiar el verbo, ¿ok? Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. Okay, very good, very good. Give me one second. Let's see, okay.
All right, I believe uh, you guys already complete the, the exercises, right, from our platform. Me imagino que terminaron todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, yes. this is an excellent. This is another lesson, guys. Uh, uh, by the end, this is uh, the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will uh, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. So, who loves or who likes better summer or winter time? Le pregunto quién que quién le qué es lo que le gusta más a usted. Summer or el winter time? Would you like to be in winter time or would you like to be in summer time? What is better for you? Summer time. Summer winter time? time? Winter time, right? I love winter. I don't like summer. Too hot. Too hot. Okay, excellent. All right. So, as you can see, we have uh, some words, some vocabulary words over here, right? So that you need to. A uh, learn o las tiene que por lo menos, sí, aprendérselas o tenerlas en mente que quieren decir, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, hiking, pues es como que usted se vaya de una caminata, ¿verdad? Si usted, yo antes pensé que hiking era escalar, ¿verdad? Escalar montañas, pero hiking es cuando usted se va de caminata y este, o se va de mochilero, ¿sabes? No sé si había dado a esa gente que le gusta andar en las montañas y andan caminando, entonces eso es hiking. Ok, so, vamos a aprender un par de palabras en este momento. Ya vamos a hacer otra actividad, ok? Me one second. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, excellent. All right, now just let me to ask you, uh, when was the last time that you went to the movies? Let's see, Rebecca Vanessa Flores Rodriguez. When was the last time that you went to the movies? I went movies. Movies, yes. Uh, Mm -hmm. the last weekend last weekend i went to the movies last weekend very good when was the last time that you went to guatemala edgardo last time i, I last time i went to guatemala was uh, about one year ago one year ago excellent uh elsie when was the last time that you went to united states I I went mm -hmm. um United States in May. In May? You went to the United States in last May. Okay. Last May. Okay. Remember, rem the reason that we are asking these questions, guys, is because you need to figure it out or you usted tiene que darle sentido a la oración o a la respuesta que me va a dar. Y acuérdense que si estoy usando el did, usted me tiene que contestar en pasado también, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, uh, let's see, Jaime Alfredo Lemus Rodríguez, when was the last time that you eat beans? Mm. No. When was the last time that you eat beans? 
Eh, le escribo, pero vamos a ver. When was the last time that you eat beans? Beans, sorry. All right, when was the last time? Ahí aparece acá, si es last. Last time. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que usted comió frijolitos? Sería... ¿Cómo sería hace momentos? I ate few, I min ate. Uh, few minutes ago. I ate... I ate few minutes ago. Ajá, uh -huh. I ate beans few minutes ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. I ate beans minutes ago. Sí, Ahora claro. yo la, la... Excelente, excelente. Si yo les pregunto, ¿qué notaron de raro en esta pregunta que le acabo de hacer a, a Jaime? De acuerdo al tema que estamos desarrollando. No es necesario contestar en pasado. Que no es necesario contestar en pasado. Ajá, esa es una, pero en la, sí. la, la estructura, la estructura... No ocupó el auxiliar. Sí. Exacto, y le, le hice la pregunta con el when, no le hice la pregunta con el did, ¿verdad? Entonces tenga, tenga, tengan cuidado, eh, no es que tengan cuidado, sino que usted lo puede decir de las dos maneras, ¿verdad? Porque si yo le digo, a, le hago la pregunta al caballero, ¿cómo se llama? Se me fue, oh, Jaime, solo utilizando el did, yo le diría, do you eat beans? Today, uh, Jaime, pero ese ya es más, más específico, ¿verdad? O, did you eat beans tonight? Viene él y me va a decir, yes, I did. No, I didn't. I ate beans last week. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ahí él ya cambia también siempre el verbo. Pero yo le, di, le hice la pregunta, when did you eat Or when was the last time that you eat beans, Jaime? Y como acaba de comer el frijolitos, ¿verdad? Sí me contestó en pasado. O sea, me dio, me dio a entender que comió frijoles hace, un, hace unos momentos. Me dijo, I ate beans few minutes ago. I ate beans few minutes ago. Ahí me tiene que recalcar, ¿verdad? Y cambió el verbo, acuérdese, ate state of it, ok, so, solo quiero que no se me vaya a, a confundir en esa parte, verdad so, usted lo puede decir de las dos maneras solamente que tiene que tener más práctica y dedicarse un poco más a lo que es la gramática, que ahí sí entra lo que decía ne eh, Nevi la vez pasada verdad, que hay que aprenderse las reglas, si tiene la capacidad que creo que la tenemos lo puede hacer sin ningún compromiso verdad, lo puede hacer entonces, eso no es ningún problema. ¿verdad? A ver. Permítame. No sé si está observando lo que yo veo. Yes. Yes. Ok, excelente. Ok, so, let me ask you this. Ok, let's see. Uh, Karen, be my guest. Usted me va a contestar esa pregunta. Me la va a formular antes de, de... La dinámica acá trabaja así. Usted solo me tiene que decir... Así va estructurada, pero trate de hacerlo lo más rápido que pueda, identificando el auxiliar, identificando el verbo, identificando el complemento, ¿verdad? No se vaya a quedar así, yo sé que cuesta, pero no, no se vaya a quedar así como, like, este, no, que no puede, ¿verdad? Que no, que, que no puede, este, completarla, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a, ahorita a mi estimada Karen, ¿ok? Let's go. Did you see Brian? Did you see your? Did you? Uh -huh. Did you? Mm -hmm. Dígame, dígame. Did your friends last night? Did you see your friend last night, right? Very good, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Gabriela, be my guest. Next one. Go ahead. Did 
Do you go shopping grocery last night, last weekend? Do you go shopping grocery last weekend? Everybody's agree? Yes? Last yes. weekend? Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's see. Elmer, be my guest. Go ahead. Did you... Did you watch that movie at night? Mm, por ahí va, ahí la lleva. No, formulémosla de, de una mejor manera. Dele, dele otra vez. Did you watch movie last night? Do you watch a, a movie? A movie. A movie last mm -hmm. night. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh Nevi. Next. Que se me hizo mi estimada Nevi. Se fue. Okay. Quiero ver. Uh, let me, please be my guest. Go ahead. Did you stay from yesterday? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's no see. se metió el micrófono, perdón. Oh, okay. Okay. La próxima es la suya. Go ahead. Did you on make your dinner to Thursday? Did you make dinner on Thursday? Very good, excellent. Okay. Uh, Edgardo, be my guest. Go ahead. Did you have a party? Did you have a party last Saturday? Yes, I did. Very good, excellent. Very, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver. Okay. This is practically what we need to do, right, with this dynamic, okay? So now let me ask you this. This is another another game. Karina, be my guest. All right, so in este caso, lo que me va a contestar, mi estimada Karina, es eh, si es correcto o es incorrecto. Siempre son simple past, yes, no questions, okay? Siempre es relacionado al tema. Usted me dice correcto o incorrecto, ¿verdad? Vamos. You shower your dog yesterday. Correct or incorrect, Karina? Quince segundos. Correct. Incorrect. Se fijó el verbo estaba ya este con la ed, verdad? Entonces vamos a ver este Clara you did. Please go ahead. Did you saw a movie yesterday? Correct or incorrect, Clara? Did you saw a movie yesterday? Uh, correct. Are you sure? Okay. Ya me, ya me dijo. Correct. Acuérdese que ya el verbo ya había estado cambiado. Es di, el, el auxiliar nunca lo cambia. Era D U C. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, Elsie. Did you go shopping last weekend? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Wendy, be my guest. Permítame que... Okay. Vamos, permítame, mi estimada Wendy. All right, Wendy, go ahead. Did you play soccer this weekend? Correct or incorrect, Wendy? It's correct. Are you sure? Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. Incorrect. Incorrect, right? So, el verbo, ¿verdad? Vio el verbo que ya estaba... Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it's not okay? Let's see. Camila, be my guest, please. Mm. 
painted. You painted your room last Monday. Correct or incorrect, uh, Camila? Correct. Are you sure? Mm. Yeah, correct. Hey. Okay. Oh. Okay, so incorrect. Okay, so let's see. So, uh, Ana Xiomara, please be my guest. Did you have a, an exam this week? Correct or incorrect? Ana Xiomara? Alvaro Canales? Correct. Correct? Incorrect. Okay, correct. Okay. Brenda Rachel, be my guest. Okay, Brenda Rachel. Do you take an English lesson last Saturday? Correct or incorrect? Carolina Beltran. Correct. Okay. Okay. Cualquiera puede participar porque es de, de rapidez. Do you buy a new sweater last night? Correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Okay. The next one. Do you clean your house last weekend? Correct. Correct. Okay. Incorrect. All right, guys. I just I just played those uh, videos, I mean, those games with you because I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding in a better way. So lo estoy viendo que se está comprendiendo de una mejor manera. Y créame que entre tanto y tanto y tanto, uno le da, le da, lo de la, le da lo mismo hasta que se le queda. Se le queda ya el did, no se le va a olvidar, ¿verdad? No se le va a olvidar. Acuérdense que esto siempre va a ser un proceso en el cual... Cualquier momento, alguien nativo le va a hacer esa pregunta. Le va a decir, llegó al trabajo y le van a decir, Do you like the environment here? Imagínense, llega a un trabajo, cuando uno es nuevito en un trabajo, se ha fiado que uno llega como que es pollito comprado, ¿verdad? Que no quiere, ni, todo se siente todo raro, ¿verdad? Y, y viene el jefe y le dice, Do you like the environment? El ambiente, el ambiente ¿verdad? Do you like the environment? So, si yo le pregunto a usted que llega a trabajar a mi empresa, le digo, Edgardo, did you like the environment? What would be your answer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did like it. I did like it because... Y empieza usted tal vez, tal vez ni a, quizás ni a decir la verdad, a, a, a mentirme a mí el oído, a decirme, yes, I did like it, I like... People over here, I like the store, I like, you know, the, the lobby, very good, Mr. Escamilla, very good, I like it. ¿Verdad? Pero usted tiene que estar activo a lo que se le va a preguntar. Ahora vamos a pasar lista, antes que se me olvide, permítame, vamos a apagar esto. Okay. Permítame un momentito. Vamos a ver. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, guys. Uh, let me pass the list right now. Alvaro Mauricio Canales via Toro. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Uh, Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Present teacher, perdón que no le pude contestar, no me pude, no pude activar el audio. Oh, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Este, uh, let's see, Brenda Rachel Abrego Arevalo. Brenda Rachel Abrego Arevalo. Okay, she's not here. 
Eh, Camila, Alessandra, Consuegra, Arias. Present. Thank you, miss. And let's see. Carolina, Elizabeth, Beltran, Irreta. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Clara, Judith, Rodas, Pacheco. Present. Thank you, miss. Denise, Rosalia, Hernandez, Rodriguez. Denise Rosalia Hernandez Rodriguez. Okay, she's not here. Okay, Edgardo Ernesto Escobar Polanco. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Este, Elmer Giovanni Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie del Carmen Sandoval de Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Este, Gabriela Abigail Gonzalez Bonilla. Guzman, teacher. I'm sorry. Gabriela Abigail Guzman Bonilla. I'm sorry, my bad. Present. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Genesis Abigail Hernandez Aguilar. Genesis Abigail Hernandez Aguilar. Okay, she's not here. Este, vamos a ver. Jaime Alfredo Lemos Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, Jonathan Adonai Hernandez Martinez. Present teacher. Yes, sir. Jose Oswaldo Hernandez Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Karen Xiomara Nunez Trejo. Present. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Karina Jamilet Hernandez Canales. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernandez. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernandez. She's not here. Uh, Carla Saray Ramos Otero. Carla Saray Ramos Otero. She's not here. Kathy Esther Guzman de Ramirez. Kathy Esther Guzman de Ramirez. No sé quién me escribió y me dijo que iba a estar solo de oyente. Vamos a ver. Katia Esther Guzmán de Ramirez. Okay. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero Meléndez. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero Meléndez. Eh, Ledvia Eloida Aquino de Alvarado. Present, teacher. María José Chavarría Chavarría. Here, uh, Nevi Isolina Vasquez Gomez. Nevi Isolina Vasquez Gomez. You say, Guys, está broke the microphone. Present teacher, perdón. Oh, no, it's okay. As the uh, Oswaldo Stanley Morales Hidalgo. Present. Thank you, sir. Rebecca Vanessa Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, miss. Rodrigo Alexis Mata Beltran. Rodrigo Alexis Mata Beltran. Susana Al Carmen Rodriguez Martir. Martir, I'm sorry. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Wendy Graciela Castillo Castillo Gonzalez. Present teacher. Uh, thank you. You get me, Jamile. Uh, when when the lead, I'm sorry. When the lead, Batres Flores. Here. All right, so si no he mencionado a alguien, me avisa antes que termine la clase, por favor, para ponerlo en la lista. Okay, let's see. Wait one second. Okay, vamos a ver. Just a moment. Permítame. All right, guys. Uh, Quiero ver quién me escribió. O sea, I'm here, present teacher, Brenda. Brendita me dijo que exista, me tomó asistencia, teacher. Vamos a ver, permítame, Brenda. Ok. Vamos a ver. 
por un momento, por favor. Brenda, Brenda. Ok. Ya está, Brenda, ok. No se preocupe. Ok, estamos acá. All right, guys, uh, let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking right now. Just a moment. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's have that key. All right, so we checked this uh, this uh, PPT last time, right? So this is part of the, you know, the, the verb, I mean, the, the topic that we've been checking so far, okay, is simple past uh, action verbs. Remember, guys, the... Cuando estamos aprendiendo un nuevo idioma, todo se, se basa en los verbos. Si ustedes, si ustedes estamos, si estamos faltos de aprend no aprendizaje, que, es, que no tengamos esa información en nuestro disco duro, que es eh, nuestra cabecita, pues va, vamos, a, vamos a, a sufrir un poco en el sentido que nos va a costar. But every time you need to learn, the, as much as you can, you need to learn the verbs. You know, you need to get it. You need to, you need to have it. You need to have the verbs in your mind all the time. Okay. So let me double check here. So I don't know if, if you remember that we checked this, uh, this, uh, this activity last time, right? That we're still moving this. Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Not a problem, Gabriela. Okay. So. So remember that we checked this uh, topic or this uh, exercises last time that we had um, this topic as well, right? Which is uh, simple past. Okay, so as you can see over here, guys, siempre se está hablando en el pasado, ¿verdad? El simple past y estamos verificando los verbos, ¿verdad? Si usted se fija, aquí dice, every weekend, they go to the cinema every weekend, ¿verdad? Every weekend, last weekend. They go to the cinema every weekend, last weekend. They went to the theater last weekend. All right. So remember that cuando usted ya empiece a verificar, aquí están unas figuras las cuales a usted le va a dar una idea más completa, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's repeat. They go to the cinema every weekend. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. They go to the cinema every weekend. Every weekend. They went to the theater last weekend. They went, they went to the theater weekend. Last weekend. Mm -hmm. What would be in the second example, uh, my kiddos, mis niños, what sería el base form the went? Go. 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 Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go with the second one. All right. So remember that we have uh, the infinitive uh, present or the infinitive base form, which is the same infinitive. In this case, right? So, tenemos el, aquí, play, watch, and go. All right? So, aquí sería played, watched, and what? went. All right? Let's repeat. Played, 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 played watched, 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 and went. 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 All right. Remember. So, I'm giving you this information because we are basically getting more vocabulary. Si me recuerdan la vez pasada, yo les dije que les iba a mandar este, esta PPT. Háganme un recordatorio a mi WhatsApp. Quien sea, me lo puede mandar para yo mandárselos a, eh, después que termine la clase, para que tengan esta, esta PPT como, como base, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos acá con el siguiente. So, remember, regular verbs, a regular verbs, are the ones that regular verbs are the ones that we are going to add ed all right so let's repeat work 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 stay 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 listen worked worked stayed listen it listen it eat ate ate a, C, 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 saw, saw, saw. Uh, fly, fly, fly. Fl flew, flew. Mm. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so. And aquí tenemos una fórmula. Esta también, como le digo, si, 
uh, cuando miro fórmulas así, siempre me recuerdo de la, mi estimada Nevi, que siempre me recuerdo que ella dice que hay que aprenderse, y, y claro, fíjese que es, es buen punto, por eso le voy a dar la PPT para que usted trate de la manera de acariciar, de ver toda esta, esta información para que usted tenga una, un mejor conocimiento, ¿verdad? Cuando dice el spelling and regular verbs, all right? So we have a D, E, D, y son estas, estas son como, esta es una fórmula que hay acá, vowel, consonant, double the consonant, all right? So cuando se mire la, estos, estos, este, estos verbos, perdón, estas palabras, stop, aquí dice la regla que hay que doblarle la letra P. Si tenemos uh, travel, le vamos a doblar la, la letra L, que es la consonante que tenemos acá por ser eh, un spelling in regular verbs. Ok, so aquí tenemos esta información que le va a servir de mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted se la, se la guarda y eso créame que le va a ayudar bastante. Positive forms aquí, recuérdese que en este caso solo estamos I, he, y entonces le agregamos el verbo. I play. I work, she work, he work, she, uh, she jump, he jumps, etc., 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 ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos una imagen donde dice que ella estaba viendo, ¿qué? Televisión a las 10. Yesterday evening, all right? O sea, era la noche, ¿verdad? She watched TV at 10 o'clock yesterday evening. All right, so yo sé que tenemos muchos, este, no problemas, ¿verdad? Pero a veces se nos olvida, no sé si se han fijado que a veces solemos, so, solemos decir good night cuando acabamos de empezar la clase. Acuérdense que es good evening. Good evening and good night it's after we finish the classes. All right, so uh, después que terminemos la clase, usted me dice Good night, teacher. Good night, Mr. Camilla. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. ¿Verdad? Pero good evening is the evening is from six to the time that you're gonna be awake. Hasta la hasta el, hasta la, el tiempo que usted va a estar despierto, ¿verdad? Ya después de eso, pues ya me dice, por no decirlo hasta las nueve. Después cuando usted ya se duerme, usted dice good night. Okay. So let's repeat. She watched TV at ten o'clock yesterday evening. She watched TV she at 10 o'clock yesterday evening. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Mary and Mike got married in 2002. Okay. My brother visited okay. Paris two years ago. My brother, My brother visited, visited, visited Paris two years ago. 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 One more time. My brother visited Paris two years ago. My, My brother, brother visited, visited Paris, Paris two years, two years, years ago. ago. Excellent. Anna and Sarah had lunch in a restaurant last weekend. Anna, Anna and Sarah, and Sarah, Sarah, Sarah had lunch in a restaurant last weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. What, would be, what would be the, the, the verb in this case, guys? What would be the verb? Had. Had, had, had. right? Had very good, and they are talking in present, past, or future. Past, 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 past right? Very past. good, very good, excellent. My class, right on. Let's see. Sam broke her leg yesterday. Let's repeat. Sam broke her leg Bro yesterday. Sam, Sam broke her leg yesterday. Pero yo veo algo raro en este en este ejemplo que 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 Hair. Sam que Sam es él, verdad? Entonces, uh, yeah. entonces acá, his, acá sería his, 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 his right? His. Excellent, excellent. Sam broke his leg yesterday. Excellent, very nice. I'm going to save. Okay. Vamos a ver. Este. Y ese es el negative form, right? I did not, I didn't. Y el, más el verbo, acuérdese eso. I did not and I didn't. Como puede contestar usted, I did not or I didn't. Vamos con el siguiente ejemplo acá. Dice, they didn't play basketball yesterday. Let's repeat. They didn't play basketball yesterday. They didn't play basketball yesterday. They played football. They played football. 
Excellent. Vamos a ver. They didn't go to the cinema last weekend. They didn't they go didn't to the, the cinema. cinema. They went to the theater. They went to the theater. They went to the theater. Okay, okay. Let's see. And this is another question form. Did. Yes, no question. Lo que estábamos bien, eh, eh, verificando anteriormente. Y este es un, un, como un tipo cartoon, right? So, donde dice Garfield. Did you do this? Yes, mm -hmm. I did. All right. So, si se fija acá, está el, el auxiliar did y está el do, do como verbo. Acuérdese de eso. Did you do this? Yes, I did. I love Garfield. Okay. So, let's see. All right. So, let's uh, let's repeat. Did Garfield kiss Ori a few seconds ago? Did Garfield kiss Ori a few seconds ago? No, he didn't. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. Did he kick him? Did, did he, he kick him? him? Yes, he did. Yes, yes he, he did. did. Yes. He... All right, so if you have, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Kick him is como lo, lo pateó. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, so let's see. What's that? All right. Did they play tennis yesterday? Let's repeat. Did they play did tennis they yesterday? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. They didn't. Did they did they play football? Did, did they, they play football? football? Yes, yes, they, they did. did. Yes, yes, they, they did. did. All right. Did Garfield? Eat a sandwich two hours ago. Did Garfield eat a sandwich two hours ago? No, he didn't. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. Did he eat a cake? Did he eat a cake? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. He did. yes. Aquí un paréntesis, uh, my kiddos, I just want to make sure or let me explain or let me tell you, in other words, that every time that you see a question mark, Try to sound as question. Siempre que mire una, un signo de interrogación, tratemos de sonar como lo hacemos en español, ¿verdad? Porque si usted la entonación. Sola, la entonación, eso. Si usted solamente me dice, did he eat a cake? Y me voy a what? Pero es como que usted me diga, did he eat a cake? ¿Verdad? Did he eat a cake? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right? Very good. I just want to make... Yo sé que esto ya lo sabe, pero... A veces se nos olvida y hay que saberlo nuevamente, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. All right, so, the, did it snow two days ago? Did it snow two days ago? No, it didn't. No, it no, didn't. It didn't. Did it rain? Did, did it rain? rain? Yes, it yes, did. Yes, it did. Yes, yes it did. It did. Okay. okay, excellent. So, why we have a over here it it why because we're talking about rain we're talking yes, about sir. rain right excellent excellent very good very good very good so all right so i just want to make sure that you guys are getting the right information right so Te pregunto, teacher. Dígame. no Te que pregunto. Por, okay por qué dice acá, i mean por qué dice it didn't Y no dice otra cosa. Y el compañero dijo, it's because we're talking about the rain. All right. When we talk about when we talk about things, remember, we need to use it. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank Excellent. you. You're welcome. All right. WH question. I mean, WH questions and answers. Okay. Let's see. What did, what did she do yesterday evening? Repeat. What, what did she what do did yesterday she evening? Do yesterday evening. evening. She worked on her computer. She worked on her computer. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Okay. What did they eat yesterday evening? What, what did, did they eat yesterday evening? All right. So they ate a pizza. They ate, they ate a pizza. Pizza. The, the same thing that I told you uh, yesterday. I mean, that I that I just mentioned a few minutes ago, guys. 
the, el verbo cambia después que mencionamos la, la, la pregunta. What did they eat yesterday evening? All right. Si usted se fija aquí en esta pregunta, no empezó, did they eat, did they eat a pizza yesterday evening? No, ¿verdad? Dice, what did they eat yesterday evening? Oh, they ate a pizza. All right. So let's go. Let's uh, yes. Entonces van a haber preguntas que no necesariamente tienen que empezar con did, sino que le van a le van a agregar what, why, how many, how exactly. todas esas, cualquiera Ex de esas. Exactly. No, en este caso, acuérdense que es aquí le, la pregunta es qué comieron sí. uh -huh. ayer por la tarde. O ayer por sí. la uh, ¿Me entiende? Pero sí, por eso, por sí. eso, vaya. No basándome en esa, en esa pregunta, sino que en cualquier otra, si es necesario, depende la, la información, podría ser que primero vaya cualquier pregunta y luego did. Mm, le, en este caso, vamos a tener que darle el, el entorno, porque si yo le pongo acá, por decir, why did mm. they esa quedaría, ¿verdad? Porque dice, why did they eat? ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Que se mira así como que, why did they eat uh, pizza yesterday? Why did they eat? ¿Me entiende? Entonces, mm -hmm. o si yo, o le pongo yo, who did this? ¿Quién hizo esto? Who did this? All right, mm -hmm. so, pero sí, lo va, lo va a tener que, este, tener que encajar para que la oración se entienda. Como no que es que tenga so sentido. Ajá, ajá, no es que solamente vamos a poner, ah, hoy le voy a poner aquí uh, why, hoy le voy a poner uh -huh. what, hoy le voy a poner who. No, tiene que tener sentido la oración, ¿verdad? Okay, okay not a problem. You. You're welcome. All right, let's uh, repeat. Uh, which instrument did he play? Which, which instrument, instrument did he play? Which instrument did he play? Si te fijas aquí, eh, mis estimados, eh, lo que acaba de preguntar la, la compañera, ¿verdad? Aquí mira, empezamos con which, pero aquí tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Which instrument did he play? ¿Qué instrumento tocó él? He played the violin. All right, let's repeat. He played the violin. He played the violin. The violin. The violin. Excellent. All right, so, mira acá este Navy. Navy. Where did my, where did, Acá es esta mm. otra, mire. Where mm. did my go yesterday? He Where went to the hospital. Uh -huh. Where did he go? Where did my go yesterday? All right, so. Acá como le puede poner Mike, le puede poner she, he, they, ¿verdad? O sea, pero aquí estamos siendo específicos que Mike, ¿a dónde se fue Mike ayer? Él se fue Él para se el fue. hospital. He went to the hospital, yes. Let's repeat, he went to the hospital. He went to the hospital. His way to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And let's see, permítame. How did he go to work yesterday morning? How did he go to work yesterday morning? Let's go. How did he go to work yesterday morning? All right, aquí puede de las dos maneras. He went by a taxi. He or, he, or he took or he took a taxi. He took a taxi. He took a taxi. A taxi. Took es el pasado de tomar, ¿verdad? The the take, yes. Uh -huh. Acá si usted algún día va, va a ver esta palabra que es cab. Yeah. Es lo mismo. Cab lo es lo mismo que taxi, okay? So that would be it. Y que no se supone que taxi es una palabra universal. Sí, pero en este caso, este, este cab es más, más como un nativo. sinónimo. Ajá, es un, un sinónimo, es como más, más nativo, ¿verdad? Es como, por ejemplo, si usted mira la palabra, nosotros solo conocemos eh, bar, así un bar, lo vamos a ponerlo así en mayúscula, solo conocemos bar, pero allá en uh. Estados Unidos también va, usted va a ver esta palabra, pub, uh. que es lo mismo, pub, uh -huh. Pero igual, este, le voy a mandar esta información en un par de minutitos, tal vez hoy o mañana, ¿verdad? Para que usted la tenga. Si se fijó, pues hay mucha información que practicar. 
Y eso ha sido todo por hoy. No sé si tienen alguna preguntita before we go to sleep, before we go to bed. No any question. question. Any question, no guys? Question. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So I see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of the night. Okay. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow.